Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Alright, rever revisiting the $20 eBay blowout valve, dual, dual venting. Um, there were enough people that were interested in seeing it work, including me. I want to see it work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull off the factory blow off valve and bring both of these things, everything, to a hardware store and um, see if I can get a, a fitting that will make the whole thing work. So um, let's pull it all off and uh, get to a hardware store. I got the factory blow off valve off. So I think all I need is the new blow off valve and the coupler. So I need to find a coupler. So the smaller size on one side and the bigger size on the other. So that shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll have much of an issue doing that at all at the hardware store. This fits the uh, factory blow off valve or the factory um, uh, vent port, vent tube, or whatever it's called, recirculation tube, that's what it is. Um, it fits that just fine, so really the only thing is just getting it to, to go onto the charge pipe. And as you can see, there, there's a pretty large difference in the two, so um, getting the right coupler will be crucial. The next day. Okay, so I went to a hardware store, and I couldn't find the type of adapter that I wanted, but what I did find was... Um, this piece of PVC which gives a very very tight fit like I won't even be able to pull this off like ever so um but it does give a really good seal and it's kind of I probably should have thought this through a little bit better because I can't pull this out now I mean I can adjust the tension of course on the spring but I can't pull it out to oil it so I'm gonna have to try to oil it by taking off some of these end pieces and then getting into it from there but um it's new so I don't really think it needs to be oiled at the moment um, probably once it's ran for a little bit, it'll need to be oiled, I'm assuming. But we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll just turn it on and um, see how it runs. You see here, this fits there, and this fits really nice and tight onto the uh, uh, adapter for the blow-off valve. So, nice tight fit here. I can clamp this down and it goes around the PVC just perfect. And again, this is super, super tight. So, I have no question that this will hold 20 PSI because it is, um, I mean, like I said, I can't even pull this off. Once I got it on there, that was it. So, and I've blown on it. It has a really good seal, so I don't have any concerns there. I know everybody's going to say, oh, that's not good enough because there's no clamp or anything on it. But it is super tight. It, it's really, really tight. Don't worry, it's not going to come off. So there it is, you can see it's a dual port and um, I'll turn on the car now and see how it, uh, how it sounds, make sure it'll idle. Um, oh, one last thing I forgot to do is hook this up. Okay, and that's nice and tight so I'm not even going to tighten down the clamp. And we'll try turning on the car and see if it'll idle, if it'll hold boost, just that idle. I'll try to rev it maybe a little bit. The car is completely cold right now, so we'll see. And I can't get it to blow off just um, sitting here at idle, so I'm going to have to drive it and see how it works. So, um, clears the hood at least. So let's, um, let's give this a shot. Now I don't have my camera mount or anything set up, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain to, uh, try to film and drive, but we'll, we'll give this a shot. And I got the front windows down. If it may, if it's much louder, it'll be very obvious. But I think the biggest thing is just going to be whether or not it holds boost. So let me get the boost gauge up. Oh, shit. Ooh, it's loud. No 
no joke. It, it's it's fucking loud. Like it's a loud blow off. <clears throat> that peaked to 12 pounds. Just in the neighborhood. No, I didn't speed. So let me reset the factory boost gauge. Sounds really good. And a light just came on. I don't know if I hit something on accident. I don't think so. That was weird. But I'm not sure how, how good everybody's getting the audio because it's kind of windy out. Damn, it's loud. It sounds really good. Now, uh, fucking check engine light on. There you go. So it's, it's not liking something. And the car just fucking stalled. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe it's sticking open. Yeah, it sounds good, and, and it's, it, I hit a peak of 20 pounds, it, I don't know at what point it's, um, it's having the problem because the check engine light did go on. I'm going to just turn around and then take a look at it somewhere because uh, it stalled and the check engine light come on, came on, so I don't know if the pistons just needs to be oiled and it was sticking open. It sounds... Okay, now we got... Check engine light came on for a moment again. So it sounds really good. Like, like, uh... I'm not gonna lie, it sounds sweet. Oh, fucking car died again. So I'm just gonna pull up here and uh, pop the hood and see what's going on I'm hoping it was just like it's sticking or something like that Check this out. Oh. so the pistons closed um, my guess would be that it might be blowing off too much let me try to firm this up I doubt this cheap thing is designed to hold like 20 pounds, of this. so that's as tight as it can go. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's as tight as it can go, so let's give this another shot. Oh, fucking check engine and it stalled again. So yeah, the engine's stalling, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the piston, or um, if it's sticking, or if it's just blowing off too much and it's making it run rich. Let's see if I can set up a data log. Because it's pulling fine, it's not till the, the shifts that it's giving the problem. So let me roll up the windows real quick. And um, so just to tell everybody, it's it's really loud. It sounds it sounds like a, like a good sounding blow off valve. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not going to exaggerate, it sounds really good. It sounds like a really good sounding blow off valve. Okay, so I'm logging now. So it really does sound like a really good sounding blow off. Let me see if you can hear it with the windows up. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it's... It, it's sounding really good. Okay, so maybe this will give you an indication. The um, air fuel parameter, I'm seeing it reached a uh, maximum of 10.14, which is very rich. So I'm sure that's just happening on the shift. So, so the tune would probably have to be specific to this blow-off valve. I'm assuming it's going, going super rich between the shifts. I'm not even sure how much of it's recirculating because it doesn't sound like 
much of it is. It sounds, there's a huge whoosh. All right, we're gonna do it again. So I don't know when it's hitting the, the, the 10, 10.14. It does, it does that almost stock though. This is with the stage one, one uh, OTS tune. But one thing I will say is that it, it, it's holding boost um, all the way up to, to red line. So the, the problem's not happening with it with its inability to hold boost. It's it's um, it's, its ability to um, blow off. So it's either the piston sticking open too long, which it kind of felt like it is what it was doing. Like the blow off is, it has like a long duration is the best way to explain it. It's not just a quick blow off, it like blows off quite a bit and it lasts really long. So I think that's what what's occurring. I think it's just staying open too long and it's probably making the engine lean out and or get too rich and then probably just die. I got the logging on. If I can, ideally I'll get it to, to stall with the logging on and hopefully the cob doesn't turn off when the car stalls. I don't think it will. And so I can see what's exactly causing it to, to stall. I don't think this blow off valve can hold the um, 20 pounds that it's uh, it's going for. So I think the spring is opening too long, and um, I have it all the way hard. So I've done everything I can. It blows off really loud, though. It sounds awesome. If the one thing that this thing did for me is it, it um, made me hungry for a real real blow off valve with some noise because this sounds awesome like it's blowing off like loud with just a little bit of boost up oh, and it fucking just stalled again that's great nice thing about electric power steering on, on cars is uh you don't lose steering when the car stalls that's always a plus if you guys remember with the uh mechanical ones it used to you'd lose everything Nice and loud. And it stalled again. Fuck. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. It seems to be getting worse, maybe. Or it seems to happen at lower. Oh, I don't want to say it's at lower RPMs. I think it's just when I um, uh, push in the clutch after it blows off. I'm not feeding enough fuel back in to get it to keep it alive. So, um. I'll probably pull it off right now and take a look at it, see if there's anything that I can make of why it's, why it did that, why it's stalling, or maybe to see if the spring is sticking, or the piston is sticking, rather. Uh, so there it is. I'm probably going to pull it off right now and kind of inspect it all and probably throw the stock one back in. The car smells really hot, but it, that's probably normal. I'm sure it's just me being paranoid. So I'm gonna pull this off real quick and then inspect it. All right, here it is. So the, just pulled it off. So the first observation is just that it's really hot. Um, other than that, there's not much I can make from it. Let me see if I can move the piston freely. Yeah, the piston's moving. It doesn't feel like it would be binding up. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of it. I guess the um, one good test of it would be to uh, see if I can find a way of blocking the recirculation portion, or the uh, venting portion rather. Um, block that completely. 
just to see if that's what's causing it to um, to have the the issues. If it's just uh, purging too much, because I, I don't know how much is recirculating. All I know is it's really loud. Like it sounds like a loud blow off valve. So could be that, or it could be um, hell. I don't know. I'm gonna pull the log, and I'll um, upload this video and upload the log. And you guys can uh, just, if anyone has any suggestions, you let me know. But the log will be in the description, and um, we'll check it out. Um, I'm going to throw the stock one back on there for now because um, I don't think it's really good for my car for it to be stalling a million times. So I'm going to pull the cob off and uh, get the log. So, all right. Thanks everybody. Um, any comments, please let me know what the thoughts are. Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Weed is engaged in the pavement. Rubber escorts like I'm seeking arrangement. Push the gas, escalate the gauges, escalate hits on the cam girl's page.